What's going on everyone? Charlie here. We have a lot of filings to talk about. I'm going to start getting working on these. First one we have is SR SIBO EDGX 2021-048. And this one is pretty relevant. This one is referring to hard to borrow securities and shorting them. So let's go ahead and take a look at what this is all about. <clears throat> oh, look at the balloons. They're so, so cool. Buckle up. Man, the PowerPoint has some really awesome intro slides. Anyways. This is the filing we're discussing right here. It was filed today and will be published in the Fed Register on the 29th, which is next Monday. This is a notice of filing of proposed rule change to amend interpretation and policy 0 .01 to rule 11.10 in connection with a risk setting that users may elect to apply to their orders and hard to borrow securities. Let's take a look at the purpose. The purpose of this proposal is to amend interpretation policy 0 .01 to rule 11.10 to allow the exchange to offer its users a hard to borrow risk setting that users may elect to apply to their short sale orders in U.S. equity securities. Pursuant to interpretation and policy 0 .01 to rule 11.10, the exchange currently offers certain optional risk settings applicable to a user's activities on the exchange. Specifically, interpretation and policy 0.01D currently provides users with controls to restrict the types of securities transacted, including restricted securities and easy-to-borrow securities, as well as restricting activity to test symbols only. When utilized, these optional risk tools act as a risk filter by evaluating a user's orders to determine whether the orders comply with certain criteria established by the user. The exchange now proposes to amend this interpretation in policy point zero one d to exchange rule 11.10 to also include a hard to borrow list. Like the existing risk settings, the proposed rule change offers users an optional tool to evaluate whether their orders comply with user established criteria. Specifically, orders submitted in securities included on a user's hard to borrow list will be rejected back to the user. The hard to borrow list resides at a user's port level, a user specific logical session used to access the exchange. Users may upload a hard-to-borrow list to their preferred ports via a web-based application programming interface. When uploaded to the port, users may apply the settings to some or all of the market participant identifiers or MPIDs that they use to access the exchange via the specified port. As is the case with the exchange's existing risk settings, the user, and not the exchange, will have full responsibility for ensuring that their orders comply with applicable securities rules, laws, and regulations, and may not rely on the hard-to-borrow list for any such purpose. Furthermore, use of the hard-to-borrow list does not automatically constitute compliance with exchange rules. As is the case with the exchange's existing risk settings, the exchange does not believe that the use of the hard-to-borrow list can replace user-managed risk management solutions. The exchange proposes to make the risk setting available to its users upon request and will not require users to utilize the hard to borrow list. The exchange will not provide preferential treatment to users using the hard to borrow list. However, the exchange believes the hard to borrow list will offer exchange users another option in efficient risk management of its access to the exchange. For instance, the hard to borrow list may assist some users in managing borrowing costs for their short sale transactions. Generally, day over day borrowing costs in hard to borrow securities may be costly. And while a locate may be secured by a user prior to routing their short sale transactions to the exchange, borrowing costs may make such transactions less desirable. By utilizing the hard to borrow list, users have a tool that enables them to manage their costs by rejecting orders in such securities. In essence, specifically the exchange believes that the proposed rule change is consistent with these principles because like the current risk settings, the hard to borrow list fosters competition by providing another option in the efficient risk management of trading on the exchange. Users are free to use the exchange hard to borrow list or other risk management offerings. Moreover, as noted by the commission, even when shares can be borrowed, short sellers may find it costly to borrow stock to enter or maintain a short position. In this regard, the hard to borrow list provides users with a tool to help manage such costs by rejecting orders in hard to borrow securities and thus providing a mechanism of financial protection to exchange users. The proposed rule change is also designed to help support the principles of Section 11A, Section A19, in that, in that it seeks to assure economically efficient execution of securities transactions, makes it pr uh, practicable for brokers to execute investors' orders in the best market, and provides an opportunity for investors' orders to be executed without the participation of a dealer. That is what we want. 
Now, we did get an interesting super note in this filing. Um, there is super note 8 here that refers to the GameStop report that was just filed on October 14th. It says to refer to page 30, footnote 84. And when we look at that, it says, even when a share can be borrowed, short sellers may find it costly to borrow stock to enter or maintain a short position. This cost is known as a securities lending fee or simply a lending fee. During the second quarter of 2020, the cost to borrow GME was greater than 100%. This is an exceptionally high cost to borrow. Cost to borrow, GME declined to under 50% by June 2020. For perspective, between January 2007 and July 2018, the securities of just 222 firms had lending fees greater than 100% at any point, accounting for just 0.01% of observations. Average lending fees were 1.5% during that same period. Lending fees to borrow GME were around 25% in January 2021 and fell as short interest began to decline into February 2021. Interesting, right? GME gets a shout out from SIBO filing. How about that? So yeah, basically giving more risk controls to um, unsuspecting users that are getting effed over by some of these other members. Because you gotta, you got to remember, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world in the markets too. So it's not only us versus them, but they're versing each other too. So anyways, how about that? Have a good one.